Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to walk you through the brand new and improved Sleek Lens workflows for Adobe Lightroom. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and show you what you get when you download the presets from SleekLens.com. So what you see here is our, a bunch of PDFs, which are recipe guides, and I'll show you what those are in just a second. You also get the brush workflows and the presets workflows, which you can install to your Adobe Lightroom, and previous collections, which are non-stackable Lightroom presets, which you can still use, but we kind of recommend that you use the new workflows, uh, which are stackable, and I'll go over those in just a second. So just looking at one of the recipe guides, you can see a few before and after photos right here, and you can see exactly what they did to get this effect on the after photo. And there's a, a couple of them here, and there's one recipe guide for each collection. So you can just scroll through here, and maybe you wanna mimic this style. This is the exact uh, preset workflow that you uh, would use to mimic this style. So now that we check those out, let's go ahead and get to the new workflows from sleeklens.com. So here we have all of the Sleek Lens workflows installed here, and they're all grouped by the Sleek Lens name, so they're not scattered around everywhere now. They're all grouped together so you can know where exactly they are. So I have this photo and I wanna make a really nice print out of it, but I wanna apply some really neat effects. So let's go ahead and go into the Newborn Delights presets. So I'm just gonna expand that and uh, just walk you through the naming convention here. We have Newborn Delights presets. ND, that's what that stands for, is Newborn Delights. And we have zero, which is all of the all-in-one presets are in the category of zero, all-in-one, and then we have the name of the actual preset. So what the all-in-ones are, are they are kind of like a one-stop option, a one-click option to get a really nice effect. And you can see as I'm looking at this preview here, you can see what the changes will do once I click on one of these. But as we scroll down, you'll be able to see a, a, a new workflow here, and they're all renamed and they're shorter named to make it easier to see. So number one is kind of where you would start out, and these are stackable presets, which means when you click one, it only changes what it says it's going to change. It doesn't change everything in there, so you can stack each preset on top of each other. So let's say I want to do a black and white tone, so I'm just going to click that one, and now I have a nice black and white tone. But if I want to brighten it up a little bit, I can just click this one, and it brightens it up. So now I can go to my color correction. Uh, I'm not going to really do those now because I don't need to worry about color in a black and white photo. Uh, but I can do uh, my polish here. I can increase the clarity. And I can also do a, a subtle black vignette. So all I did was work down the, go down the workflows 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and into 6. And now my photo is complete. And it was that easy to make a really, really nice black and white photo uh, that is really print worthy. So let's go to another photo. So I have this photo of a wedding couple here. So I'm just going to go to the Strike a Pose presets. So now you can see the same naming conventions as all the other ones. We have SAP for Strike a Pose. Uh, zero is where all the all-in-ones are created. And now we have all of the uh, names for the presets here. So I'm just going to click on Muted Butterflies. And you can see one click there, it just creates a very, very beautiful photo. But let's uh, change it up a little bit. So now we're just going to look down the bases here to see what we want to change. Uh, we don't want to do another black and white, but we will do an auto tone on the color. And you can see how it just brightened it up a little bit. Let's, uh, let's brighten up the shadows just with one click. We have a nice little vintage fading effect going on there. Now let's go to the, uh, the color correction here. I'm going to do Fix Red Skin. You can see it fixes all the red skin, so now the colors are actually matching with the vintage effect. Uh, I'm not going to do any tone tint, so you don't have to do those. Polish, I'm going to do a high contrast to increase the blacks and the whites. And we'll do a uh, black dreamy vignette. So there we go. All those quick little clips, and we have a very nice photo that we can uh, we can definitely give to a client. And it was just, all it was was stacking these presets on top of each other. So let's talk about brushes now. Brushes are very, very useful in Lightroom. They allow you to have a, a, a lot of control over selective highlights and selective uh, points in your photo that you want to address. And so let's go ahead and click and see what SleekLens.com has to offer as far as brushes goes. So I'm just going to click the brush icon up here, and I'm going to click Effect. And I'm going to look at all the brushes that you can uh, that you can get from SleekLens.com. There are a lot in here to choose from. Uh, but the one that I want to start off real quick with is the uh, A Winter's Tale desaturation for this photo. What I want to do is just desaturate the background a little bit. I don't want to make it too crazy. So I'm just going to paint in the background here. You can see it desaturates it. 
but I'm just gonna I'm gonna bring it back up just a little bit because I only wanted it a little bit. And that's the great thing about brushes you can pick uh, the the specific brush, but then alter it still, and that's what's really cool about these. So now what I want to do is I'm gonna get another brush. So I'm gonna click New, and now I'm gonna go find another brush, and I'm gonna go all the way down here to the Strike Oppose brushes. Click on the face and soften skin. So now I'm gonna make my brush just a tiny bit smaller and I'm just gonna paint over the skin of these guys right here. So I'm just gonna paint just a little bit. So you can see it just adds a little bit of softness to the photo, kind of like a little, uh, little bit of a glow effect, which is actually really cool in these types of wedding photos here. So right around there, it's still keeping the hair sharp and, and stuff like that. I'm just trying to smooth out a little bit of the skin and just like that. So let's do one more brush. I'm gonna click the new button again and I'm gonna click the effect. And now I'm gonna go all the way up to the a la carte brushes and I'm gonna choose darken. So just like I uh, desaturated this, I'm gonna darken it a little bit as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and increase the, the brush size, take this down. So all this is doing is sort of creating a vignetting effect, uh, but I'm making the vignetting effect and not letting the software do it for me. So I'm actually gonna darken, darken in between here as well and not to interfere with the couple so right around there and I'm just going to increase the uh, exposure just a little bit because it's a little too dark for me but that's what's great is I can just bump up the exposure and just right around there so let's click done and see the photo so just like that that is a really quick and easy way to apply these presets to your photos and you can see how they work you can see how the see how the stacking works and it just really makes for quick editing and uh, you obviously get really great results as you can see here so to learn more about these presets, you can go to sleeklens.com and click on the four Lightroom Sleek Lens Lightroom Collections tab, and you can see all of the collections that we have here. They're really great collections, as you can see, and they uh, will really change the way that you edit your photos. So uh, thank you guys for joining me in this video. This is Jordan from sleeklens.com, and I'll catch you in the next one.